Hi, the Year 8 project explores the process by which natural forms change and develop through metamorphosis. The sculptor Henry Moore was inspired by natural forms, particularly rocks, shells and bits of twisted wood that he would find through his walks in Adel Woods through Yorkshire Moors, particularly the giant rocks that he used to find in Adol Woods that had been there for thousands of years and eroded through wind and rain uh, by nature. He used to draw from this large elephant skull in his studio and he'd quite often find a close-up section of it and it would look quite like a landscape with the flowing, curving shapes that he used to have within the composition. Using his imagination, Henry Moore would create these small maquette sculptures made out of either clay or wax and rather than creating something directly from observation, he would use all of his imagination and his experiences to create a new individual object with flowing, connecting shapes, uh, with a sense of movement and erosion, something almost ha that had a life of its own uh, within the palm of his hands. Then he would make a larger copy of this in either wood, carving, stone or bronze. He wanted to give a timeless, permanent quality to his sculptures, similar to the rocks that you used to look at in Adel Woods. They had a monumental uh, quality, a timeless permanence. You will look at natural forms like bones, shells and rocks and make careful studies of them in your sketchbooks with pen or pencil. Then you'll create your own place sculpture carefully and slowly, almost like erosion, by carefully modelling and curving using ridges and free-flowing shapes that sort of flow around the form. It's almost as if water's eroded it and to create a sense of movement. It will have a, a life of its own as it evolves in your hands. Other artists like Ernst Haeckel, who looked at nature in detail, almost as if it's under a microscope, creating these strange and looking at these very strange creatures that almost have an alien quality to them. Also Dan Zeller, they look like sections from a microscope. He used his imagination and a very fine pen to draw every detail within the sections um, that could look like cells or plant structures and even maps. You're going to create your own biomorphic form by carefully drawing with pen or pencil uh, a free flowing shape that will then be developed into a biomorphic form bio meaning biology, morph, morphing, changing, a changing biological form, using your imagination and experiences uh, for, for natural forms like, like um, uh, scales, hairs, cell structures, and you're going to create something completely new. Sea creatures from the blue planet, the abyss, are on a fascinating uh, animal to look at with its sort of a really interesting, strange, surreal shapes that can give you lots of ideas for your own biomorphic form drawing that you'll be doing. There's a photography element to this project and you're going to be looking at a few photographers, particularly how they use lighting and zooming in to get the sculptural and almost textural detail of the photo to give a more sculptural quality to the feeling of the object that you're looking at. 